KTRS. Um, Kathy Helbig is on assignment, so we'll check in with Samantha Orton from the Kathy Helbig Group. Good morning, Samantha. Good morning. Uh, how's uh, how the how's the real estate world? Is it still is it slowing down any out there? Actually, it's picking up a little bit. There's um the inventory is a little bit lower, but there's still buyers out there. So um, buyers are out looking, and they're not seeing as much as normal. But so. We're getting into situations where people are going to be wanting to make backup offers. Yes, let's talk about that for a second because this is – I was just talking about this the other day. You look at a house, you, you see a house, and it says pending on it. It says under contract, and you think, oh, my goodness, I don't have a chance at that house. But actually, you might. You might. So I had a buyer that actually um, – she her house went under contract last week, and um, she was about a week too late to write an offer on a house. So we wrote up a backup offer on it. That, that house was currently in inspection, so we made our backup offer look really sweet, and the sellers were super excited to get it. And then last night, we actually got the great news that the buyer, that contract fell apart. So my buyer's offer became primary. Okay, now, so uh, Kathy's talked about this before, and it's really, you need someone who knows what they're doing. But if you're a seller, you take the contract, but if a better contract comes in, Two days later, can, how do you finagle getting out of the one to take the second one, or can you? Well, you can't. You, the only thing you can really do is uh, be difficult during the building inspection period. And if the the buyer gets upset and they don't want to continue forward with the house and the contract terminates, then the backup would become primary at that point. Gotcha. So the the seller really can't do much, and the buy the first buyer can't do much. But if it naturally falls apart. You, the seller knows they have that backup offer right then and there. Correct, yeah. And sometimes they will be a little bit more difficult because they have that backup offer that was a little bit better maybe than their first offer. So maybe they say they don't want to do any repairs in the building inspection. And then that first buyer gets a little bit upset. They don't want to move forward because of that. And then it, then it can fall apart. How, uh, how often does the second backup offer come into play? Um, you know what? It, ha- it happens more times than you might think. Yeah, so it does. Um, it doesn't happen all the time, and sometimes uh, the first offer may say, "You know what? That's okay. I don't want to be kicked out of a contract. I'll just take it as is, or I'll take it with very little repairs." But it does happen more than you think, and people don't realize that you can do that. And it's such a great opportunity to possibly get a house that you didn't think was possible. Right? So. Yeah. And so, as the as the buyer, as the second buyer, when you make that offer, is it an official offer? Do you have to sign anything, or is it just yeah. a "Hey, call me if this falls through"? No, yeah, that's the other thing is we don't want to do a, hey, call me if it falls through, because a lot of times the agent, the listing agent, is thinking, oh, well, they weren't that interested, so they didn't write a backup offer. Let's just put it back on the market. And then you as the buyer's agent are having to look constantly to make sure that that house is going back on the market. Or maybe the seller says, I don't want it to fall apart because I don't have anybody else that's right there waiting, so you have to get in writing. Mm. So have an official deal. Does this? Does the seller have to sign that? backup offer or do you yeah. just put yeah oh, okay so the seller so the buyer and the seller both have to accept the backup offer <laughs> and then if the backup offer if the first offer falls through and the backup offer has the opportunity to become primary the buyer still has 24 hours to say that they want to become primary oh so and even oh so so even even after the first one falls through the second buyer then has 24 hours to say okay now i really want to do this yes oh yes and if you wrote a backup offer on a house and the um, that, that one hasn't terminated yet or they haven't come to you and say, would you like to become primary, you can rescind your offer at any time, too. So you could still be out looking for houses. Uh, you know what I've learned in this segment, uh, uh, Samantha? I've learned to call you. That's what I've learned. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you got to call us. <laughs> just call you when it's all said and done. You know the ins and outs. All right. She is yes, part of do. the she is part of the Kathy Helbig Group. 314-276-SOLD. 314-276-SOLD or KathyHelbigGroup.com. Samantha Orton, great job. Thanks for coming in, and we'll see you down the road. Thank you very much. You got